That's actually really good. That is really good. Come on in, welcome to my home. Today we are starting coffee month with coffee chocolate chip blondies. These are going to be so good. Now I did have a few unexpected problems with this. Uh, one of them is the store where I normally get my raw sugar, they're out of raw sugar. I know, that's really weird, all these people baking. But that is okay. Now remember, all the ingredients are listed down below in the descriptions, along with the recipe and the timestamps. You can jump to that next part by just clicking on the timestamp. It's pretty cool. All right, let's start off with our butter. It should be softened, not melted. Unexpectedly, this is really hot today. So, I'm gonna put my butter in there. Trying not to make loud noises, not successfully. To that, I'm going to add sugar. Now, I would normally add a cup and a half of raw sugar. Instead, I had half a cup of raw sugar and one cup of brown sugar, which is fine. It'll work out just as well. I'm going to put that in and start that mixing. Now, we're going to add a pinch of sea salt. Then I'm going to add my coffee granules right now. That's instant coffee. You use your favorite instant coffee, it's up to you. My vanilla, now if you wanna learn how to make your own vanilla, click that card, it'll take you to the day where I make my, my vanilla. And of course, two eggs. Now I should say, my oven is preheated to 375 degrees. I have a 13 by 9 inch baking pan, which has been greased, obviously, greased and floured. Do a little scrape. All right, our flour, baking soda. I'm going to mix those together. Little mixy there. Make sure I get all the. That's the fun part about this time of year. You never know how humid it's going to be. It's kind of humid today. I'm going to add this to our mixture on low. Once that starts coming together, I will add my chocolate chips. You could put this into a. Um, bigger baking pan, I mean a smaller baking pan, like an 8x8, eight eight. oh come on, come on buddy, there you go, uh, but it's going, to say, it's going to cook a little differently, I want a thinner uh, blondie, if you're wondering what a blondie is, it's just a brownie that doesn't have chocolate, which of course would turn a brownie brown. And yes, my other spatula is actually in use right now. All right, we will take our dough, put it into the pan kind of evenly. Once it's in the pan, I'm going to flatten this out and try to spread it out nice and even in the pan. I decided to wet down my fingers and do it a little faster that way. And yes, that is much, much faster. All right, our dough is spread out evenly in the pan. I'm now going to place it into my 375 degree oven and bake it for about 15 to 17 minutes until it is cooked, you know, through. Stick a cake tester in the middle of it. If it comes out clean, it is done. We're gonna take it out and let it cool. Our blondie is done. We're gonna cut off a piece. Oh, that looks so good. <laughs> My voice is cracking. It looks so good. That is rich and a slight coffee taste to it. It is chocolatey. It is really good. 
I hope that you make this. This is such a good recipe. It's really easy to make and it didn't take very long. Uh, just watch it when you put it into the oven. Make sure that you don't overcook it or undercook it. And it's great. This would be wonderful topped with ice cream. Uh, I think this would be really fantastic. And you could use the syrup, which is coming up soon, that you could actually drizzle over top of your ice cream on top of this, which would be the most decadent dessert. Now, if you make this, let me know. You can get a hold of me on most social media at CM Coleman Home. Now, if you want to help support this channel, you can check out my Patreon, where you get these recipes and these videos, and also a week, you get to see the behind the scenes of a week in my life every week uh, for, by joining that. Now, you do not have to do that. These videos will come to you uh, regularly. If you like or share this like and share this video and also comment, that really does help this video help these videos and it shows me that you're really interested in those sort of things. I'd love to hear if you made this down below in the comments. I hope I get to see you again next time you stop by. And you can take a look at these other videos I picked out just for you.